and overtaken by both Midsummer Cranston on the outside of Bowen's Court. As they race on now inside the last half mile, and it is Don Vincenzo joined on the outside by Chasing Waterfalls, neatly put his third, a couple of lengths to Midsummer Cranston, who's just fourth on the outside, overridden along Bowen's Court, and Lockmore Queen is starting now to get into the picture as they race to the final three furlongs and come round the home turn as Chasing Waterfalls and Nina Carberry just pick it up, neatly put on the outside, followed by Don Vincenzo, who's now back third. In fourth place is Midsummer Cranston, and they're followed by Bowen's Court and Lockmore Queen, and these six are clear of the remainder. Off the bend now, and as they begin to straighten up for the final two, Chasing Waterfalls with neatly put on the near side. These two are followed by Midsummer Cranston, who's beginning to make ground between horses, and then Don Vincenzo, Lockmore Queen, and Bowen's Court, as neatly put goes to the front now, racing towards the final furlong, and it's neatly put in the lead, chased by Midsummer Cranston in third place is Chasing Waterfalls Lockmore Queen runs on into fourth but it's neatly put in the lead as they race up towards the finish, neatly put and John O'Mara from Midsummer Cranston on the near side, hanging left but neatly put as they go towards the line, neatly put wins the bumper Midsummer Cranston second, third Lockmore Queen, fourth Chasing Waterfalls and then Bowens Court and Don Vincenzo and they're a country mile clear of the remainder